Fair mateys, I'm so glad you are all here. Today I decided to dress up like a pirate because I want to talk to you about treasure. Do you like treasure? I do too. But not all treasure is silver and gold. But before we talk about treasure, let's dive into the treasure of God's Word. We have a new Bible verse to memorize. We should definitely treat God's Word like the treasure that it is. Ready to hear your new verse? I'll read it and you listen and read the words to yourself. John 14, 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. John 14, 26. Great! Can you try to say it with me this time? Let's try. John 14, 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. John 14, 26. Jesus knew that it would be difficult for us to remember all of his teachings, much less obey them. Thankfully, he sends the Holy Spirit, or as the verse refers to him, the Holy Ghost. When we have faith, the Holy Spirit lives inside of us to help us remember Jesus' teachings and obey God. Now let's get started with our Bible story. Every story from God's Word is a treasure. During Jesus' time on earth, he cared about people's needs. People heard about his miracles and how he had healed the sick, raised the dead, and helped the lame to walk and blind to see. So crowds of people followed Jesus wherever he went. But he cared not only about people's physical needs, but their spiritual needs as well. So one day Jesus went up a mountain, sat down, and began to teach about the kingdom of God. Jesus taught about the blessings that come to those who follow him. He tells them in Matthew 5, starting in verse 3, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Next, Jesus taught how Christians should live. Jesus said in verse 16, Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Jesus was saying that as Christians, we have the Holy Spirit living as a light inside of us and to let others see him in us through our actions and worship to God. Jesus then began to teach about God's law. Jesus did not come to get rid of the law, but to obey it perfectly. Jesus also told them not to just look good or righteous on the outside like the religious leaders, but righteous on the inside too, obeying God not just to be seen, but for the right reasons. Jesus told the people to love their enemies and pray for them. He said, when you give to people who are poor, give in secret, and when you pray, don't pray just so that people will hear you. Then Jesus taught them how to pray. Then Jesus began to talk to them about treasure. You knew I had to get there at some point, right? Jesus told the people, Don't collect treasure here on earth that can be destroyed or stolen, but collect treasure in heaven. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Think about something you treasure. You love it, don't you? That's what Jesus is talking about. People who live their life to collect money love their money. It's where their heart is. People who live for God and put Him first love Him. 
Now, Jesus isn't saying it's bad to have things. We can have and enjoy our toys, our money, our friends here on earth. But what Jesus is saying is that it is so much more important to have treasure waiting for us in heaven, and we can't bring our stuff to heaven with us anyway. Our life on earth will not last long, but eternity, that time we spend with God in heaven, will last forever and ever and ever and ever. It never ends. So we should live our life with eternity in mind, not just our short time on earth. Now, you might be thinking, how can I collect treasure for heaven while I'm still on earth? Well, I'm so glad you asked. We collect treasure in heaven by seeking God above all else and putting others before ourselves. Now, what are the treasures? The Bible says that we can have mansions and crowns to lay at Jesus' feet. But the greatest treasure of all is spending eternity with Jesus. Jesus taught the people many things, and they were amazed. But his teachings are for us today as well. He teaches us how to live, how we should treat others, and how to love God. We should trust in Jesus and live to honor and glorify God. That's all for this week. Make sure to work on memorizing John 14, 26 this week and be ready to say it next week. I'll see you then.